guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new Amazon Prime unboxing video and I am super excited to open this. So it says open here. So these are the ones I can never open without scissors. So let's take a chance. Yeah, I get so many different bags and packages from Amazon Prime, and they're not the same. Some of them you can just rip open easily. And let's look inside here. I'm so excited for this. So we have a little baggie. So I hope you guys will enjoy seeing this, and let me know in the comments. I'm just putting it down off the camera for a second. So I can get a grip on the bag to open it. I'm so excited. I'm like a little kid, you guys. So, we have this faux velvet bag, a little pouch. And we're going to open it up. And... Ta-da! It's a bunch of beads! So these are beaded bracelets. I don't know if they'll fit me, but I, I basically wanted the beads. So I ordered these from the S-V-O-V-I-N store on Amazon.ca. And apparently there are 12 bracelets in here. It says um, gemstone beaded bracelets for men and women. So they're not real gemstones. They are semi-precious, supposedly stones. So um, we'll get into that in a minute. And crystals unisex. So these were $24.99 for a set of 12, so just a little bit over $2 each, which is a good price. And let's open these up. Oh, I'm so excited! So we have a black one. Let's see the test. Do they fit my big wrists? A little bit tight. If I were making this bracelet myself, I would add probably four more beads. I would want them to not, I don't like anything tight around my wrist. Now that's my bigger wrist. So let's try it on this one. It fits a little bit bigger on this hand, but this hand's all scratched out, so I don't like to put it in the video. And I don't know how I did this, you guys. I don't know if my parrot did it or if I did it. So these are the black stones. I'm just gonna put them down after we open them and Oh, look how pretty these are. I hope my camera's picking up how beautiful these beads are. Now, it says some of these are stone. And apparently, this is supposed to be, let me go check, howlite. Howlite stone. Now, I am, um, I can't tell. They feel cool. They're very cold, but I just literally took them in from outside and it's winter, so I don't know. And I did read that real stone is cold. I don't know. These could be glass or plastic pretending to be stone. But I think they're beautiful anyway. They're 8 millimeter sized gemstones. And these black ones are supposed to be black obsidian. So black obsidian and howlite. Okay. I might as well put them on. And I apologize for the scratches. And oh, I love this one so much. This is so pretty. And I think this is supposed to be, it's really hard to tell, possibly lapis lazuli, a phoenix lapis lazuli, not regular. So phoenix lapis lazuli, and they're just really, really pretty. Whether they're real stones or not, I don't know, but I think they're just beautiful. Aren't those pretty? And let me pull out a lighter one. So pretty. I am super excited, you guys. So what could this be? <laughs> I don't know what these are. Um, I have no idea. This doesn't look like anything on their chart. I will take a picture of their chart and put it here. And you guys tell me what you think this might be. 
So actually, I'm not going to put this on. Let's put this aside and see if we could figure out what this is by elimination, all right? So I'll put that down here. And then we have this, which I believe is supposed to be the red agate. But it looks pretty sheer, like clear. What's the word I'm looking for? Opaque. Opaque means you can't see through it. What's the word I'm looking for? Luminous. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. But I don't know. I like the color and I think it's pretty. And I think according to this, this is the red I get maybe. I don't know. All right. So, and they're all a little bit tight for me. But I might just restring them and make my own jewelry out of these. And this is, according to the chart, malachite. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. I really love this one. Now, these gems all apparently have meetings, and some people believe they help with um, healing, and I think it's really cool. And I love the symbolism and the meanings, but I don't know if I believe that, but I still think it's a very, very cool. Oh, this is shiny. Oh, I think I know what this is. I remember having a stone like this that um, a friend gave to me and said it was for grounding, because apparently I needed grounding. This is not on the list, but I do know what this is called. I just need to think about it. But this is not one that shows up on the list for the product details. This is like a whole new thing. So, and I'm fine with that. Um, let me get back to what I think this is called. I'm, it's just not coming to me. The joys of getting older, you guys. But I used to have a stone like that. <laughs> Look at my poor hand. And... Oh, look how pretty that one is. Now, I think this is just called blue stripes, and this is not supposed to be a stone. This is just like a bead. I don't think they're calling this one a stone, but this does not look anything like the blue stripes that they put on their product details. This looks like something totally different, and I, I know this one has stripes right here. So maybe this is the blue stripes, but I don't know. But I think this is beautiful. Whether it's real or not, I love it. And I've got a purple one. Now, on the list, there's one called Purple Stripe, and there's one called Amethyst. So I'm going to show you the both purple ones. And I'm assuming because some of these ones here have stripes, like there's one that has a stripe. That they're calling this purple stripe and they're calling this amethyst. But maybe these were dyed because every amethyst I've seen has been a light, light purple and not a dark purple. And uh, some of them seem smaller than the others. Like the amethyst one is smaller. But I think they're both very, very beautiful. They feel really cool on my, on my wrists like cold and I'm just going to, uh, since I don't know what this one is and I need a light one, I'm just going to put this light one right here. And then we have, which color should I go for next? This they're calling lava stone. And I don't know if you could see it, but it's very porous. And I know some people pour essential oils into here. I don't know that I would do well with essential oils. I mean, I do okay with, like, vanilla for cooking. But, yeah, you're supposed to be able to dip these in essential oils. I'm, I'm sure I'd be okay with some essential oils and not others. And there we have that. And only two left. So this is the tiger eye. It's supposed to be tiger eye. Isn't that beautiful? I love Tiger Eye. So I used to have tons of these bracelets back when we used to have a store called Claire's in our mall. And they sold stuff like this all the time. And I had so many, and I don't know what happened to them. I mean, I'm talking years ago. But that store is long gone. And here's the other purple one. So I have six on one wrist and six on the other. And as you can see, they're too tight for my wrist. I've got big wrists and big hands. But they're still very beautiful, and I just really love them. 
So let's just pull them off. So I can give you a better idea of what they look like. So you know how much I love diamond painting and I love the drills. So you know I love sparkly, shiny things. And this is just right up my alley. And even if I can't wear these just... Like, I'm, I could wear them one or two at a time. They're not so tight that it bothers me, but I like a looser look. But, like, say I just wanted to wear one. Like, that doesn't bother me. It's just when you put so many on. And there might be some give over time, too. But anyway, what was I saying? Now that I have them all out here, I will put, again, a copy of the product details. And you can tell me if you think I got all of them and not. Because this one is definitely not in the product details. And I do know what this is called and I can't think of it. But once I edit the video, I will I'll type it in for you. So you can see. But these are so pretty. I love them so much. So for $2 um, a bracelet, I'm really, really happy. And some of them I might take apart and just make my own. Um, I want to learn how to do macrame and crochet jewelry. So I might just cut some of these and use them. Or I might just use them as bracelets. So which ones would go nice with the nails I have today? I think... These three would go nice with what I'm wearing today. My color and my fingernails. I hardly ever do my nails, but I did my nails today. But yes, you can even tell by looking. Some of the strands are bigger than the others. Like, this is bigger than this, this one. So they didn't make them equal. Yeah, that one fits much looser. As it's pretty. I like tiger eye. I used to have a tiger eye bracelet. But that's it, you guys. And you get the little pouch. All for $24.99. And apparently these all have meanings. So if you if you Google tiger eye, it will tell you what the meaning is supposed to be. Or um here, let me. Okay, guys, I am back, and I took a second look at these bracelets, and I did figure out what was what. They did send me exactly what they said in the product details. So I'm going to show you again the product details here, and here is what they sent me. So this is the Tiger's Eye, the Malachite, the Amazonite, the Red Agate, the Amethyst, and the Lava Stone. So... Tiger's Eye, Malachite, Amazonite, Red Agate, Amethyst, and Lava Stone. So whether they're real or not, I don't know, but they did say, they did send what they said they were going to send. So on the other hand, we have what they're calling Phoenix Lapis, Phoenix Lapis Lazuli, Black Obsidian, and this is the one they call just Beaded. Now there is a name for this one. I do know it. I just, I still can't think of it. Howlite, Purple Stripes, and Blue Stripes. I feel like Xena the Warrior Princess or Wonder Woman. Who had the cuffs? Wonder Woman? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say I did get exactly what they said they were sending. So I'm really thrilled with these. They are tight, you can see. Although they're not supposed, you know, meant to wear six on one hand. I think the most I could comfortably wear on one hand would be three or two but I love them I just think they're beautiful I, I really love them so 12 beautiful braces for $24.99 and if they don't loosen up and get a little bit more comfortable I will just cut them restring them and um, use them in my crochet and macrame that I plan to do and they feel really nice and they're so pretty I love sparkly things. All right. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you being a part of this channel. Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of a video and if you would like to see more. And take care. Stay safe. And happy crafting. Bye.